Okay, so we're going to give this a shot and see how it works. Um, for today's e-learning assignment, you're going to need to download the uh, Bridge Builder design software. To get this software, you're going to need to go to the Snow Middle School website and select for students. Go down to where it says ENMS Downloads. Click on that link. Wait for the page to load, which my internet this morning is rather slow, so be patient. Once the page loads, you'll see that the Bridge Builder 2016 version is posted here. You need to click on that link and it'll start the download process. Once you get the pop-up menu to run or save, you need to select Run and allow it to download, which you can see this is going to take a while according to my internet. Hopefully yours goes a bit faster. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause until my download is complete. Okay, now that my download is finally completed, I get this pop-up screen about the Bridge Designer setup file. So I want to go through the install process. First, simply clicking by Next, agreeing to the Terms of Service, clicking Next again, install for anybody on this computer, because I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit. And then finally hit Next here at the end, and install. <coughs> now that's installed, I want to click Finish. And I want to make sure that it's actually uh, on my computer. So I'm going to close my browser. Close my email as well. It migrates. And then I want to find where I've installed it. So to find my uh, bridge designer, I want to look for where I've uh, recently installed my program. And if my memory serves me correctly, it should be in Program Files. Nope, not there. So I want to go to my Start. Look here. Bridge Designer. There it is. Bridge Designer 2nd Edition. And <clears throat> what I've noticed is that some people have had difficulties with their uh, computers not opening it. So if you uh, like get a loading screen and then it disappears, you want to select the uh, version that I just did called Bridge Designer for older computers. And that works on the older computers that some students are having. So at that point, you can open it up, create a new bridge design. Uh, it gives you some directions here. These are good to read through. If you click through Next, setting up your bridge, that's some, some different things. All of our bridges that we design are going to be single span bridges, which means they're connected on each side. And uh, so I would focus on those types of things. Um, but for today, I'm going to let you just kind of explore it and play around with uh, different things that you might uh, uh, like to try with your bridges. But uh, ultimately, you click Finish, and it gives you the bridge design here. And you can start going to work uh, figuring out how to how to design your bridges. Your basic tools are here. You have uh, what are called joints uh, where pieces come together. You have members which connect the joints together like the, you know, it's just connect the dot type of thing. Uh, when you add a joint in, you can place it wherever you'd like to place it. And then you can just start connecting your dots, see what it happens as far as uh, 
making your bridges and just you know kind of explore it and have some fun and don't worry about costs or how successful you are sometimes the the neat things are uh, when uh, you fail on a bridge and next thing you know uh, you get some strange results so uh, real quickly here I'll just I'm gonna throw together a real quick bridge and and see if we can show you how to test it all uh, real quick I'm just gonna connect honestly I'll be amazed if this works there I think I've got all my dots connected so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test my bridge click the little testing button and my bridge collapsed before even a truck gets on it so obviously my first attempt is a failure but I just simply go back to the drawing board as they say and I can look at different things that went wrong and try to make some adjustments and who knows with a little bit of work I'll get one that works so uh, play around with it all you need to do today for turning in your homework is take a screenshot of any part of the process of building a bridge and submit that on canvas good luck and uh, I look forward to seeing what you find one other thing I wanted to mention um, since we'll be using this quite a bit you want to have quick and easy access to the program so to do that what uh, I'll have you do is once you're in uh, the program itself you can right click and oh, I'm sorry not right click but uh, that's not gonna work um, if you go back to the start menu and find where the bridge designer was located uh, here um, if you right click on this you can pin this now to your start and to your taskbar and uh, then you'll be able to run it um, just by simply clicking the button if you pin it to both so I'm gonna go ahead and pin mine to my start you'll see it's right here now below my uh, uh, games that I have on my computer I'll put it up here next to Agario since that, you know, it'll be easier to find and then uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pin it again to my taskbar so now when I go back to my desktop I have my uh, bridge designer which is open which I'll close now I'm not going to save this bridge because it was a failure but uh, now it's down here at the taskbar so now it's just a matter of clicking opening it up and voila here it is ready to go so uh, quick little time saver tip and uh, hopefully you guys will, will have an easy time of it all so have some fun with it and uh, have a good day